geocaches in the woods, Bigfoot tries to get a photo of him. When a muggle finds him geocaching, they have to explain what they're doing there. He's willing to put his bare hand in places most people are afraid to put a stick into. When his caches are published, the reviewers send him a thank you note. He was once bitten by a snake while caching. After five agonizing days, the snake finally died. He is the most interesting geocacher in the world. And then when I pee on fire, the last time Chicago burned for three days. <laughs> he wants DNF to geocache just to know what it felt like. His geocaching account was suspended for two weeks just to give everyone else a chance. He once created a gadget cache that was powered by a nuclear reactor. He once FTF'd a cache in Antarctica while wearing sandals. He has hidden a cache on a mountaintop that was literally uphill both ways. His ammo can camouflage technique was used in the making of the stealth bomber. He is the most in I can't reach the internet right now. Interesting geocache. <laughs> I don't always attend that event, but when I do, I have the best time. Hey, go with that. Travel bugs often show up at his doorstep wanting to be adopted. He has received the Geocaching Lifetime Award twice. He's the only human being Signal the Frog will actually talk to. He built a GPS receiver so powerful it once caused a 747 to land on I-75. Last year, his birthday party went giga. When he logs a webcam geocache, the CO emails a photo to him. He is the most interesting geocacher in the world. I don't always attend mega events, but when I do, it is going casual.